Do you know about figure skating in Malaysia? Uh, don't know. Do not. Not really. Yes, I, I heard of it. Figure skating. Do not. Uh, sorry, I didn't. Okay. Do you know that Malaysia went for Winter Olympics in February? Do not. No. no. Malaysia is a country where summer sport reigns supreme. Almost every day you can see families and friends playing badminton, futsal, basketball, sepak takraw, and the list goes on. There are also individual sports such as gymnastics, ballet, ushu, and taekwondo. But what about figure skating? Figure skating is a sport in which individuals, duos, or groups perform the nights. It is both enjoyed as a recreational activity and a competitive sport. This sport has been dated back to the year 1772 and has come to its current form in the mid 19th century. In the year 1908, at the Summer Olympics, the world saw its first winter sport to make its grand debut at the Olympics. Now, in modern times, there are major competitions such as the ISU Championships and the ISU Grand Prix. Every year, renowned competitive figure skaters from all over the world, such as Yuzuru Hanyu and Mirai Nagasu, come to compete against each other. As the years pass by, we are seeing more and more young skaters with the passion to learn the sport. My name's Sarah. Hi, my name is Ari and I'm nine years old. For about two years. Uh, I just figure skate for fun. But now, uh, Yuna Kim and Juliani. Because she is amazing and she's like really good and she really handsome. I am stronger, determined. To do speed and jump. The jump is I make a uh, lap and spin is six spin. To be a better skater. I get until be a coach. Harder, practice more. You just stay focused and practice more. Don't be scared. If you're scared, you can't do one. Skating at a young age, skaters will need a good and experienced coach to make sure that they excel in both the techniques and artistry of figure skating. My name is Tan Piling. I'm the figure and the short track coach in Ice Keep Ice Ring. Uh, I'm starting skating uh, 20 years ago. Be a student about five years, then after that I turn into the coach. It's never in them be a coach. I, I still enjoy as a student to participate for the competition because uh, due to um, injury, 
And after the cow will come back, I can't do much jump. So my coach advised me to why not you just become a coach. So that's the thing I become a coach. Okay, uh, first day when I saw the ring and the people go around and skating, and they keep falling and falling, falling. I was telling my friend, why this? All people like, why so stupid to come inside the ring and pay money and fall and fall? But to me, of course, um, that is really, very really artistic move for the ice skating. We are uh, comparing what I do my last sport for Taekwondo. So uh, it's just a beautiful art compared with Taekwondo. Okay, my first competition is for uh, 1999. In Same Pyramid Ice, they're holding a skate Asia. So I was to one part, one event only. My coach taught me the quite a spotlight event. So seeing my background is Taekwondo. So my coach asked me to do some Taekwondo on ice. That's the first event I did Taekwondo on ice. It's uh, really lucky I could go medal this day. It is, it is. It's every day is increasing, you know number of the public to request for the classes. In fact, actually, we shot up a lot of coaches now. So, uh, demand is huge. If we're going higher and higher level, there is. In ISI system, I'm talking about ISI system, there is a 15 level ahead. So, we got five basic. So, the first level, we got P-Alpha, then come to Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta. So, after that, we go for Visa 1, Okay, normally V1 is the one that you are starting to learn how to spin and jump. So on, one, two, three, until ten. In the Asia country, we quite quite a top. Like depends on Thailand, Singapore, Philippines, Indonesia, you know. Malaysia is still quite top on that. You know, our skater quite talented, you know, and quite potential on that. Competitive figure status life is not as easy as one would think it is. Here, we can see the skater skating as fast as a cheetah. He bounces up like a spring, spins like a top, and lands like a butterfly. My name is Chu Kai Xiang and I'm 19 this year. I'm a competitive figure skater for Malaysia. I started since I was four. In my memories, I remember that me watching my sister practicing day by day. And after that, I get interested in it and I asked my mom whether I can skate and yeah, and that's how I started. Mm, I'm going trying to go for the next Olympics, which is in 2022. And after that, it depends on my condition, whether I'm good enough to continue or not. Um, it will be SEA Games 2017. Like it's the first time international competition in Malaysia. And I didn't do really well in the short program. And I ended up in the fourth place. And after the free program, I thought I wasn't going to win. And I wasn't going to go for the podium. And, and now I did. Yeah, that was the best moment in my life. Okay, so this 14 years, it was like at first it was okay. In Malaysia or like sea country, like there's not much skater. So I'm always in the top, like in the podium. And when I go out for like Junior Grand Prix, and that's where I found out like I was nothing. What I was thinking about is just about winning and getting higher score and things like that. And I already forget what is the meaning of for me to skate. Don't think about are you gonna fall? Are you gonna, are you gonna like, for the jumps or maybe screw up the spins and things like that. Just do it. The beauty side is of course during like the competition when everyone do their best and then you know to perform on ice. But the brutal side is the training part. You fall, you injure it, you get bruised. I had the injury for like quite a few years, but I think about five years. But when I first injured, I don't know that it was like this. I rest for like few, like one or two weeks, and after that, when I get back on ice, it was okay. But 
the pain just come back like on and off. Whenever like I sprain a little bit, then it, it hurts. Then I rest for a few days, it's okay. Not until two years back when I was in Japan, that's one during training I sprain really quite heavily, badly. And when I go to the doctor there, I have a, like X-ray and I went for what is that? MRI scan. Yeah, and that's when I found out like I fractured a little bit. Like there's a small bone of like at the anchor is there and whenever I pressure on it it just what I say mm. yeah it just it hurts <laughs> I was walking alone minding my business when love came and hit me in the eye Now out of the blue, my dreams come true When they ask, I'll tell them why So, discipline is very important as for an athlete So you have to control your diet you have to make sure you go for trainings and practice by yourself. So when I'm in overseas, I usually practice about four hours on ice and one and a half hour off ice per day and six days a week. Um, hanging out with my friends, watch movie with them or maybe basketball sometimes. For coaching wise, I hope that our national will maybe hire some experienced overseas coaches to coach our athletes and of course to have some camps to guide our coaches, our local coach. A lot of boys out there think that like figure skating is like ballerina or like just CC. Uh, actually it's not. It looks good, it's elegant, it's just, I don't know, it looks, it looks just good when you do your jumps, your spins. Um, yeah, for the strength part, it's like when we jump, when we spin, we have to hold the position for quite some time, especially the jumps. We have to control our, like the weight that we put on only like on the right side and our, our body posture, everything. And we have to hold the landing for the graceful part, yeah, because we have to perform. You know, we have to perform to the audience, to the judges, like the dancing part. I couldn't think what I'm gonna do if I'm not skating. He totally changed my life and now he's just like part of my life. Sometimes I will say I hate you, but sometimes it's just that I don't know. I just I just wanna say I love you and thank you very much throughout this my whole entire life, just 14 years. Yeah. Figure skating has yet to be a popular sport in Malaysia, but it has seen some growth in 2018 as many ice rinks are being built. We can see that it has the potential to be one of the popular sports at least in the coming years. Mm -hmm.